Well, let's get some more analysis now from our international affairs commentator, Doug Herbert. Uh, Doug, uh, this is a, a pretty significant report, isn't it? It's very significant, Tom, um, and essentially significant because years uh, of denial, French historical denial about this tragic episode, it really ends here. And it's obviously the beginning of a longer process. But look, while we heard in that report, this it does not specifically say that France was an accomplice. That is, that France was complicit in this mass slaughter of nearly a, a million Tutsis and, and moderate Hutus in 1994. But it says almost the next worst thing, which is that France bears a heavy and crushing responsibility for the slaughter. And in a sense, uh, that France's failure to act, failure to prevent what was an eminently preventable tragedy in the view of many, because there were warnings in Paris at the time from French officialdom, people, um, underlings in the French administration, uh, trying to say that this was very much a possibility. A genocide of this magnitude could very likely uh, erupt at any time. The fact that France did not take proactive measures to prevent that, that in itself, if not complicity, is the extremely heavy responsibility. Now, this report, as we heard, looked at both the time before and, and, and during the genocide. What's interesting, Tom, is, look, Rwanda had other colo had colonial masters beginning with Germany way back in the early 19th century, then Belgium for a long time. What they all had in common was that they tended to see Rwanda through an ethnic prism. They favored um, often the, uh, the, the the Hutus there over the, uh, the, the Tutsi. Uh, I'm sorry, they favored the Tutsis over the Hutus. And what we saw, in a sense, was uh, President Francois Mitterrand perpetuating a long-held policy where he uh, basically threw France's support before the genocide behind the Hutu government, a government which its president was killed, as we know, uh, the, the Hutu president in, in a plane crash, which sparked the genocide. But the Hutu extremists who came to power then went on to launch this genocide. And France subsequently brought soldiers in under an operation called Operation Turquoise. Uh, and their role in what they did or didn't do to help prevent and stop this uh, slaughter is now being really uh, questioned. A very harsh spotlight on France's role, and more particularly on François Mitterrand, the then president, um, and his top aides and military advisors of the period, who were seen right now as essentially standing by and snubbing or blowing off the warnings of some of their senior officials. Uh, Doug, it's fair to say, isn't it, this is just the start, isn't it, of a long period of historical reckoning? Absolutely just the start. Look, we have seen similar historical episodes where there was a long road, road of denial, and finally some sort of breakthrough period. In the case of the Vichy regime and uh, France's collaboration uh, with the Nazi occupiers in World War II, it was Jacques Chirac in the 90s who made a famous speech acknowledging France's complicity and France's role in helping abet uh, the deportation of Jews during World War II. We've seen it with Algeria, the Algerian War of Independence, where only now, in recent months, uh, and years as France beginning to own up to its responsibilities in uh, in in that uh, war as well, and, and in a negative light as well. Uh, this is similar. This is similar in the sense that you finally have uh, a fact-finding commission appointed by Emmanuel Macron two years ago that went through thousands of documents and is just beginning now, having poured through those documents, to shed some factual light on exactly what France did, but more importantly, what France didn't do. It's the beginning of a process. It asks the right questions, but it also raises a lot of question marks about episodes that still require further scrutiny. scrutiny. So I see today, Tom, as the beginning of a process of historical reckoning, of historical ownership, if you will, by France. But it's by far uh, the many, many years before perhaps uh, it will be the end of that process. And we do have to hear Emmanuel Macron, of course, speak about it as well. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for your analysis. Our international affairs commentator, Doug Herbert, thank you so much.